In this problem, we have an infinite series, and the question is, determine if it converges or diverges, and if it converges, uh, find the sum. So this appears to be a geometric series. So geometric series generally have this form, you know, a times r to the n, or some books will, will write, um, you know, a times r to the n minus 1. The thing is, they basically have a number being raised to a power. So here we have a number raised to a power, but we have this 1 here. So let's go ahead and do this. 1 is really 1 to the n. So now we can use properties of exponents to write this as follows. This is the sum from 0 to infinity of 1 over the square root of 2, and then this whole piece here is to the nth power. And so now we can identify r. You see r here is 1 over the square root of 2. This has a name. This is called the common ratio. So now we can use something called uh, the geometric series test, which I'll abbreviate with three letters, GST. The geometric series test says if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then your series converges. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then your series diverges. So in this case, we need to figure out what the absolute value of r is. So this is just 1 over the square root of 2. This will be, well, 1 over the square root of 2, what is that? So 1 divided by square root of 2. This will be 0 0.707, right? The absolute value goes away. So that's less than 1, so it converges by the geometric series test. And that's it. I guess the question did want the sum also. Um, so to find the sum, let me show you how to do it. It's actually pretty simple. Basically what you do is, is you take this number here and you plug it in here. And that goes up top always. So 1 over the square root of 2 to the 0. Always. No matter what number is here, you just plug it in. Now on the bottom, it's always 1 minus r. So 1 minus 1 over root 2. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Uh, this to the 0 power is 1. On the bottom, we can think of it as square root of 2 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2. We're doing that so we can actually perform a subtraction. So this is 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2. And then when you have 1 divided by this, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So you have square root of 2 over square root of 2 minus 1. That's it. So you just flip it basically because you're multiplying by the reciprocal. So that would be the sum. That would be the sum of the series. Good luck.